Hi students, this is McKaylee. I am one of the ESL teachers at Asian Pacific Development Center. And today I want to share a video with you about how to use the app Zoom. First, what is Zoom? Zoom is an online program. You can use Zoom on a computer or on your cell phone. With Zoom, you can have a phone call or video conversation. Zoom is free. Why would we use Zoom? Well, now we don't have in-person classes and teachers want to connect with their students. They want to see you and talk to you and practice English with you. And Zoom is a great way for you to see your teacher from your phone or your computer and to talk to your teacher. And we can use Zoom to have class, to have an online class and talk and practice together. So let's try to download Zoom. This will be instructions for using Zoom on an iPhone. Okay, now you can see a picture of my cell phone. Um, this is a picture of my daughter and son. And first we want to go to the app store. Down at the bottom, we see search. And up in the box, we will type Zoom, Z-O-O-M. We want to use this app, Zoom Cloud Meetings. You'll see the blue box with the white camera. And we will download. Now we're ready to open the app. This is what the app will look like when you open it. It's very easy to use. First, we will go to join a meeting. So now at the top, you'll see meeting ID. Your teacher will send you a text message with a meeting ID number. This is a special number only for your class. So I'm going to go to my text messages and I see here the meeting ID from my teacher. I can write this on a piece of paper or I can copy. Now I will go back to Zoom and put in the meeting ID number from my teacher. Next, I will click join. Okay, now you will see messages from Zoom. Can Zoom use your microphone? Push OK. Do you want Zoom to send notifications? or messages. You can choose don't allow or allow. I am going to choose allow. Now we need to have audio or sound. We want to hear our teacher and students. We have two options. Call using internet audio or dial in. 
call using internet audio will use your cell phone data or your Wi-Fi. So just remember, if you use this option, this will use your data or Wi-Fi. Let's try this option first. So now I am in the classroom, in the meeting, and I can hear my teacher. But now let me show you the other option. Okay. My second option is dial. Dial means to call. So I'm going to click dial in and I will see a list of phone numbers to call. So I will choose the first number and click this blue circle. Next, I choose dial. Okay, so I will choose call. And when I call, I will hear someone talking and ask for a member ID. You do not need to enter the ID number. You will just wait a few seconds and the phone will enter the numbers for you. So again, you just push call and you wait. You don't push any numbers. So let's try. Welcome to Zoom. Enter your meeting ID followed by pound. You are in the meeting now. There is one other participant in the meeting. Okay, now we are in our Zoom class and I want to show you different options. So here it says mute. If maybe it's loud in my house and my kids are playing and I don't want my teacher to hear that, I can click, oops, sorry, I can click mute and unmute. The next option is video. I can have a video of myself if I want. So it's asking if Zoom can use my camera. I will say okay. Okay, so now the teacher can see me and I can see my teacher. If I want to stop the video, I can click stop video. Next, it says share content. Here, I can share the phone screen with my teacher, photos. I can share website addresses. Down here, I can click participants. So I see that my teacher is on Zoom in the class and I am in the class. 
So here you can see the list of your classmates and your teacher. Okay. In the participant section, you can see that there are these options at the bottom. You can raise your hand if you have a question. If the teacher asks the class something, you can click yes or no. And the last options here are under more. Here you can choose to chat and you can send your teacher a question. And now your classmates and your teacher will see the questions or comments that you type in. You can also choose virtual background if you want to change the picture that's behind you. So now it looks like I'm in the city of San Francisco. So these are the basic instructions for using the Zoom app on your phone. I hope that this is helpful to you, and I hope that you will try to download this on your phone and that we can see you and practice English with you in the future on Zoom. Thank you so much for watching, and please take care of yourself.